One overlooked method for employing maths in your patches is to use the center channels 2 and 3 as attenuverters to limit or invert control voltages. With these channels, we can alter internal signals by routing CV from math's other channels, also called inbreeding, or we can send external signals such as sequences through them to get nuanced attenuation or inversion of these signals. Channels 1 and 4 on maths also have attenuverters, which can be used to limit or invert the functions generated by those two channels. However, channels 2 and 3 can be used independently of channels 1 and 4 to provide a voltage offset of whatever is input. Channel 2 has an offset range of plus minus 10 volts, while channel 3 is plus minus 5 volts. Let's create a sequence that travels over one octave to begin with, and send it through a buffered mult. From that mult, let's send one output to the one volt per octave input on an oscillator, and another output to the channel 2 input on maths. From the numbered channel 2 variable output, let's route maths to another oscillator's 1 volt per octave input. Both oscillators can be routed out to VCAs. We can even use the maths channels 1 and 4 to control the amplitude of each signal. With the channel 2 attenuverter at noon, let's listen to the two signals. The first oscillator should be playing the full range of notes with changing pitches. The second oscillator should be playing a rhythmic series of notes with little to no pitch change. If you hear slight motion in the pitch, the attenuverter might be dialed just above or below its zero position. As we turn the attenuverter clockwise, we should hear the second oscillator traveling in pitch a bit more. At around 2.30 to 3 o'clock, the sequence should reach the 0 to 5 volt range and start to take a similar shape to the unattenuated signal's path. At this point, our one octave sequence should be just about in tune between both oscillators. As the knob continues to rise, the signal will continue to extend beyond the 0 to 5 volt range. We should hear our sequence go from the one octave range we heard before to a wider range. At its peak, channel 2 should provide a 10 volt offset, resulting in an extended range for our one octave sequence. If we send the attenuverter counterclockwise, we will get inverted signals, resulting in a retrograde motion in the pitch. Of course, this can be very useful for musical purposes, especially with a scale quantizing module. We can also use the intentionally detuned sequences as a useful pitch source for a modulation oscillator. route our tuned signal to our carrier or output oscillator and our attenuated signal to a modulation oscillator, the relationship between the notes can offer some very interesting results. Try experimenting with destinations other than pitch. There are many uses for these channels and their functions. As always, thanks for watching and please like, follow, and subscribe.